All right, guys, this is my full CVS breakdown and haul of everything I picked up today. Um, I did so well on my Skin Active by Garnet that I shut the computer down. They were going to owe me money, and, you know, they don't do that. But, uh, yeah, so let's just go on to that deal first. So, right now they have the buy two, get five extra care box when you buy any two of the Garnier Skin Active. So, I had a $10 off 25 CRT. I had a $6 off 24 facial care CRT. I had a Garnier Skin Active uh, $2 off CRT. And then I had three paper coupons. Anyways, so my total before taxes was going to be $25.27. And they put all my coupons in and the computer went completely haywire. So we took everything off my transaction and we tried it again. And then we figured out what went wrong. So I was only able to use my 10 off 25 CRT, so that brought my total down to 15. Then I used that 6 off of 24 CRT, so that brought my total down to 9. I used a $2 off uh, Garnier CRT. I used a $2 off Garnier Digital. And so that brought me down to like $3, right? Okay. And then I had a $3 moisturizer coupon. And that took me down to everything but $0.27. Cents. Um, the other two coupons are what the paper coupons that I had were supposed to, were going to attach to these. And that's what, I guess, jammed up the computer and caused it to shut down. But, uh, yeah, I only paid $0.27 cents for these three items right here. And so, if you know anything about skincare, this is some pretty nice stuff. I love these wipes. I use these to take off my makeup all the time. And I have not tried these other items, but I'm going to soon. So, the next thing I picked up was the Arm & Hammer detergent. It's on sale this week for $1.99. I used a dollar off digital coupon. Paid $0.99 cents for it. Um, the whole blend is on sale this week. Two for $7, I believe. And then the Red Machine will print you out a CRT, which gives you an additional $3 off. So that brings your total down to 4 And then you will get a $2 extra care buck back when you buy two. And so it's just like paying $2 for both of those. But I do believe I had a CRT that I used with that because it ended up being like free. I only paid tax on this one. All right. Then we are on to my Febreze deal. This week they have uh, spend $15, you get a $5 back extra care buck. So I picked up two of the Febreze one. These are $6.49 a piece. And then I picked up two of these. These are on sale at my store for $4.19, I believe. So that took my total up to right around $15. I used two of, or I used one of the, uh, Paper coupons for the buy one, get one on the Febreze one. And so that took $5 off my purchase. And then I used a digital $5 off when you buy two Febreze. And so it took my total down to like 3 or $4 or something. And then I had another coupon that worked with that um, paper coupon. And it worked with this one as well. So... I ended up only paying like a dollar and change for the four of those, plus I got back a five dollar extra care buck, uh, which is really nice. I didn't even have to pay with an extra care buck, because normally I just roll them. All right, and then we're on to the Pantene. Um, if you saw my video earlier, I don't think I completely explained everything to you on what I got with the Pantene. Um, so I got these four Pantene right here. And they're on sale this week for three for fifteen dollars. When you buy four, you get a five dollar extra care buck. 
So, I picked up two of the Daily Renewal shampoos. And then I used the uh, coupon that was available in our February Procter & Gamble. And it was a buy one shampoo. Get one of those for free. And so, uh, that took $5 off each one of those. My total before tax or before taxes was going to be about $20. It took $5 off with each coupon, so that brought me down to $10. I had a uh, $2 off when you buy 10 Pantene CRT, so that brought my total down to $3. I'm sorry, brought my total down to $8. And then I used a $3 beauty box, so that brought my total down to $5. And then I just paid the little bit of tax in, but actually these were uh, $5.49, so I did have to pay the extra uh, 49 cents on each one of those. So my total ended up being like $1.51 altogether, which is really nice, and then we had the tax on there. So I think I explained that properly. If I didn't, I'm sorry. If you have any questions, please leave those below. But uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.